Hey, you in the back row, wake up! FEA requires more than just software. It needs a background in the science, the mathematics, and the process from start to finish. That knowledge is a daunting task to take on if all you want to do is hire a service provider for FEA. Why, if you knew all of that, you could do the FEA yourself. But neither should we purchase FEA services with no foreknowledge. Now today, we are going to arm the clever consumer with a five minute introduction to FEA. Let's start with question number one. Why even bother with FEA? What was wrong with classic structural analysis? Well, classic structural analysis requires us to derive equations for certain prescribed scenarios. Each equation is customized to a specific scenario, a specific structural arrangement, and geometry. Now, that often meant higher costs and lots of engineering manpower. And it also required us to limit the complexity of our structure, because even with all of those mathematics, there were some structures that we just couldn't reliably analyze. We needed simple structure that was fitting our equations, which is a really odd way to go about it. You design the structure to meet the math rather than designing the math to meet the structure. So we needed a more efficient approach that could handle a larger array of structural arrangements. In finite element analysis, we use the computer to solve generalized structural problems. We divide the structure into many thousands of tiny little pieces called a mesh. And the important part is that when we employ generalized equations to describe how those pieces interact together, we can develop mathematics that work for every single piece in that case. And then the computer solves all of those interactions all at once to provide predictions of stresses, stresses and numerous other structural details. FEA delivers the promise of generalized structural analysis. It's the same equation and same process no matter what your structure is. This promise of generalized analysis comes at a price. FEA can get the answer wrong. Yes, it can be wrong. See, from the computer's perspective, FEA is just a giant Sudoku puzzle. The computer doesn't know if that puzzle actually provides useful information for the real world. All it knows is that the equations for all the numbers work out correctly. The one plus one still equals two. That's as far as the computer goes. Now, making sure that those equations are useful for the real world, that job falls to the FEA engineer. The engineer needs to perform extensive QA quality assurance to ensure that the computer accurately predicts reality. So this sounds great. Where can I use FEA? I get this question all the time. And the answer is always anywhere you want. FEA applies to any form of structural analysis. Use it to design the global structure for your ship, full hull girder bending. Combine the two disciplines. Imagine carrying hot asphalt in a barge. FEA can predict the heat dissipation and the thermal expansion of the hull structure. The equations can work anywhere. Now, to get back to the question that you really meant to ask, where is it a good idea to use FEA? And it's better to answer that by saying, let's pick a few places to avoid FEA, because FEA is impressive, but expensive. Don't waste your entire budget on unnecessary FEA. Classic structural analysis still works fine for many cases and no analysis or FEA or otherwise is going to magically save money on a structure that was already optimized. These are cases where the computer is perfectly capable of solving the problem, but it won't benefit you. Talk about, for example, trying to simulate every single second of a 30 year fatigue life from your component in FEA. That's way too expensive. The computer will be crunching on that one for months on end. Instead, you will use a combination of classic structural analysis and FEA to only do a minimal FEA simulation and complement the rest with structural analysis. Now, there are other cases that would require too much iteration. Now, what I mean by iteration is too many cases of rebuilding the FEA model. For good, efficient FEA, you want a well-defined structure where you already know what the arrangements are and you're really trying to answer questions of thickness of material or stress levels instead. FEA is like going to a specialist doctor instead of your general physician. You come to the specialist with concerns about a specific problem, not general questions about your health. And the specialist 
normally happens after the general doctor. Similarly, FEA is the second option for tackling structural problems. Not your first choice, but a valuable support for specialized cases. The computer can be wrong. You have to get that immediately in your assumptions. And it is the job of the FEA engineer to perform extensive QA and prove to you as the client that the computer got the correct answer. And once they do that, and you're working at that standard, the possibilities for FEA are almost limitless. There are loads of applications. They can be used anywhere, any structural problem, any thermal problem. And the focus is always going to be on complicated problems. Things that you have a well-defined geometry and now you're looking to optimize or fine tune or add in some additional complexity of geometric arrangements. Those sorts of arrangements are an ideal case for FEA where you can really grasp its potential and expand its abilities to deliver you astounding results at a relatively efficient cost compared to classic structural methods. That is the promise of FEA. One process from start to finish that works in thousands of applications and gives you the freedom to focus on idealized structures and not the math. Thanks very much. I'm Nick, the Naval Architect. Congratulations! You have joined an elite club, the few and rare that make it to the end of the video. Now, if you'd like to go one step further and join the rarest of the rare, the most elite of all, all you have to do is perform this task. Click like or subscribe and let me know how awesome you are.